Hello there and welcome. So hi guys, it's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk and welcome to another of my Masculine Monday videos. So just a little bit of background to these. The reason I call them Masculine Monday is because traditionally, I well, I choose traditionally masculine, maybe themes, colours and so on. So it's not to say that these cards are only for the guys. Uh, it's just that the the sort of the themes tend to be a little bit more mellowed, maybe a little bit, a bit more neutral in design, uh, not so frilly and frothy and pinky and flowery and butterflies. Um, so it's these cards, you know, perhaps would be suited for uh, more kind of those quieter cards, you know, perhaps a sympathy card or certainly a birthday card for for a guy or a boy or a lady who perhaps really likes these types of cards so um the reason it's it's called masculine Monday is because it's just you know m m masculine monday so there we go so lovely to see you guys thank you so much for joining me hi louise linda glenna valerie uh kathy uh kathy how's your son Kelly, um, Martina, hello, happy Monday. Hi, Denki Kaminari. Um, hi, Roberta. Hi, Janice. Lovely to see you all. Right, so, um, hi, Charlie Brown. Great. So let's get started. So I've pulled out a, car, a stamp that I haven't used the cats for a little while. So I thought it might be fun to use those. And I had the idea of perhaps doing some colour blocking on a card, but then thought, actually, it's really easy when you've got a couple of stamp sets that have got, um, you know, rectangles and squares in it. It's that it's really easy just to actually stamp some colour blocks. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Um, I've, I've have grabbed out a few colours. Not sure if I've used them all, or I need more, or whatever. We'll we'll see see how it goes, and um, have some fun. So, Miss Linda is very happy, enjoying her new. I think it's a great grandbaby uh, addition to the family. So that's lovely. Um. If anyone wants to join the new Zoom that has been set up, there's a, a bit of a um, little hub of people who are um, getting on and chatting and while they're crafting. Now, please, if you're feeling a little bit nervous about joining a Zoom and you've never done it before, um, please just message me because I'll, I'll talk through the process now, but I can, you know, answer any questions that you may have. So, um you you know you may feel a bit nervous about oh I don't want to show my face or anything like that you know what you don't have to you don't have to you can just join in uh, listen to the chatter you know I appreciate that you know for some folks going into a zoom room is as stressful as perhaps or as um, anxiety inducing as you know going into a room of people that you know you've never met before I was talking about it with Janice earlier actually and she was saying that so um that's fine you can you can actually this is better than walking into a room full of strangers because you can walk in and actually just sit there and be quiet and listen so you don't actually have to join in um and then when you feel confident you can do so there we go so I'm just going to add some gorgeous blocks of colour here and I'm going to also do some overlapping because I want to enjoy the mixing of colours and, and what happens when I overlap. Can you see the overlapping that is happening there? So. Oh, did I see that he's doing better, Kathy? Hi, Karen. Oh, you love my floral universe. Oh, that's such a lovely way of putting it. Thank you, Karen Lauston from Denmark. We usually have another friend from Denmark on here. I've just seen her and bid her good night. So um, she'll be watching in the morning. Hello. Oh, 
Uh, your cheeky monkey crafts child. <laughs> You're the child, Charlie Brown. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I'm now using pale papaya. The colour I've just used is so saffron. So now I'm going to be adding more, and you can see that I've turned my rectangle upwards. Upwards? What's that? Horizontally. That's the correct turn, isn't it? And I want to actually start filling in some of these spaces because I want this white cardstock to be absolutely covered before I do anything else. Hi, Martina. I'm not only really doing several things at once. Oh, yeah. I think they say, don't they, that although women, they, they think women can do multitasking, that actually multitasking doesn't get anything done any quicker because you end up getting distracted and taking longer to do anything apparently but then when it comes to doing lives you do have to learn to multitask a little bit because you're stamping and looking at comments and responding and blocking people and all those fun things trying to remember people's names <laughs> where they come from <laughs> oh dear so for those of you who aren't members on artful stamping space it's a facebook group where if you are ever inspired by something you've seen on my channel i welcome you to have a go yourself and please post a picture on there and um, i look forward to seeing more of your fabulous creations some of you have been very busy over the holidays, which has been really nice to see. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Right, this is now, oh, crushed carrot. Oh, no, I don't want anything as dark as that. Um, mm, mm, mm. Oh, no, I'll use daffodil to light. Hi Jane. Just aligning my stamp a bit better there. Hello Laurie. Long time no see. If it's a Laurie I'm thinking it is. Oh hello Diane Nito. Have I pronounced your name correctly Diane? Welcome. Are you new? You've obviously watched a few videos to say that you like them. Oh, hi, Vicky's niece. Is it? Is that the niece that's the nurse, Vicky? Oh, you hurt your leg. Oh, no. Oh, take care, Roberta. Nice to see you. Enjoy your dinner. Hey, Reed. Oh, Happy New Year. I've not seen you to wish you a Happy New Year yet. Oh, a different one, Vicky. Yeah. Oh, hi, Mary. Okay, so I'm filling in spaces now. I'm not worrying too much about there's no kind of rhyme or reason if you know what I mean just you know, fill spaces I'll do one more there and then I'll get one of the smaller ones just to fill in the other bits neato hi Heidi from Virginia Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. So, okay, so who's on here for the first time live? Okay, so I know this is Monday the 10th. Oh, I've just remembered it's my girlfriend's birthday today. I forgot to wish her happy birthday. I'll have to do that later. Hi Ivy, 
yeah so if it's the first time on your on the live please just wave and say hi first time read read your nose just got bigger Oh, hi, Louise. Well, I'm glad about my age. That's why nobody can expect me to do multitasking or I'm to be dotty. <laughs> yeah, at least this year. <laughs> yeah, don't don't get past me, Miss Reed. Notice I said Miss Reed because I don't know how to pronounce your surname. Her Her Herridges. I probably completely messed that up. Mary is waving. Hi, Mary. <laughs> I know you're looking sideways at Mary King. Not Mary, Reed. Like, mm, I don't think she's that new. Nope. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with that bit. So that's the first layer. So I use so saffron, pale papaya and crushed. No. Daffodil Delight. So we've got this lovely yellowy kind of look. Now I do want to introduce some kind of like bolder colours into here uh, with perhaps the cats and, and some of the um, foliage. I do want, a you know, that jungly foliage in here. So I think because the biggest element is a cat, I'm going to stamp that first. I'm probably going with a seated one because um, he's a bit more easier to control. It's a bit smaller. So, hi Sheila. This is my first time commenting on our live. I think I caught the tail end of one or two people, but I haven't chatted. Well, welcome, Heidi Solinsky. Very, very welcome. How long have you? I know what. I'm desperate to do a poll and find out how long people have been following my channel for. I think I've got four options. So, shall I say zero to six months? Six months to a year, a year to three years, and then three years or more. What do you think? Do you think that would be a fair way? Or do under one year and then do it? No, I'm not sure. What, quite sure what colour to do this. I almost want to do them as an as a silhouette. Yeah, so this Zoom thing's going on. If you're not on Facebook and not part of Artful Stamping Space, then please head over to just do, do a search for Artful Stamping Space on Facebook and um, you can join in and the link is in there. Or if you don't use Facebook, please just... Um, email me ruthtrice at gmail.com and I'll send you the information. So I've just realised I've got a fibre on there. I don't know where it's come from. I don't know if it came off my ink pad. Karen's been a week. Woo! Louise is a year. Yes, Louise, you're a year now. Yes. I know, I can't believe it's going to be nearly a year since I moved into my new house. So I'm just going to bring it in a little bit more. There we go. Gosh, I remember this time last year. Oh, he's, he's on the wonk. No. Hi, Christine. Christensen, lovely to see you. Right, let's do a poll then. Let's see. I think I'll do how long have you been a sub? Subby. You know what I mean by that, don't you? We'll put zero to one year. Two to four years. 
I mind you, I've only been going about five years, so hold on, two to three maybe, two to three years. Add option, four to five, and then five plus, 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 plus. <laughs> Oh, don't get this started again. She'll start crying. Wow, Cindy, is that all? It feels much longer than that. <laughs> I just realised when I said that, how rude that sounded. I didn't mean it like that. I meant it just feels like you've been part of my life for long. No, oh, even that sounds bad. Oh, Cindy, you know what I mean. <laughs> Does being a silent stalker count? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I do have a few stalkers, and then they sort of eventually get the, they get they get the you know gumption up, and they then start chatting. Miss Glenna. Oh, Linda will start crying again. There we go. Linda gets very emotional. Hi, Lisa Hartman. <laughs> I think, Mindy, I think I remember you coming to one of my first, one of the classes, the wreath class. I think I remember even first getting your message saying, I want to come to a class. <laughs> Oh, excellent, Christine. Oh, Kathy was silent for some time. Well, is Kathy because you have a very quiet and gentle spirit. <laughs> oh, which way round does it go? I couldn't figure out which way round they went then. Now, does that go on there? It does. It's been a while since I've used this. His nose. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that worked. I wasn't convinced then it was going to work. Yep, yeah, it worked. Okay. Because I haven't got my my head right over what I'm doing. It's a bit tricky. Oh, good, Roxanne. Good, 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 good. See, my only fear about the, the way that I stamp is that it's eventually going to become not out the box because, you know, I'd have done it so often. So I, I, I have to constantly be thinking of new ways, <laughs> new things to do. But that's OK, because Stampin' Up! keeps coming out with new products. That's pretty easy. It's all right. Every year I kind of think, oh, no, I'm not going to be able to come up with something new. And then Stampin' Up! come out with something new, so it's not so bad. Right. Is it worth me putting that tiger stripe on? I guess it is. Sorry, I, this is taking much longer than I thought it was going to take. I forgot about all these extra bits. Kind of barely shows up, but never mind. It's because I've got him already brown. Hmm. Never mind. Not quite sure this is what I wanted, but we're gonna go with it. What do we say on this channel? Just keep stamping. Just keep stamping. Right. I want to see if it's worth me blending some of his fur or or oh actually you know what I'm going to play it safe and go with maybe a marker a blend a stamp a uh, blur I've got to find the right word the stamping right marker 
Um, what's this? This is Mango Melody. So I'm kind of not doing traditional tiger colours because I've gone for a brown main body. But and I want the, the fur bits to be a bit darker than the background that I've already stamped. I'm just gonna add these bits just to make him you see, and also you can correct any boo-boos where you didn't stamp properly. <laughs> um, so just gonna I don't like him looking like he's transparent. So I know this is not what tigers look like. It's just is an artistic impression of your body. Honestly, you can get away with murder when you say that. It's my artistic impression. But actually, I should say that in a more kind of, you know, art critic voice. So here we have Ruth's artistic impression of a tiger. I don't know if art critics talk like that, but I'm making one up. I'm becoming an art critic. I'm, you know, embodying. So I love the way that she expresses her inner tiger in the formulation of the colours on the page. S spell check got you. <laughs> oh no. Oh, a subby. Subby is short for subscription. Yes, watercolour shapes is what I what I just used. Watercolour shapes there. Oh, I can do a plethora of accents and characters. It's my inner actress coming out now, guys. Some of you don't know that I was involved when I was younger. I was involved in a theatre company. Like a youth theatre company based at the National Theatre in London. And um, I studied theatre for my A-level. So when I was like eight, uh, 16 to 18, the qualifications that we do in the UK are called A-levels. So I studied drama. And then I studied theatre, film and television at university. So yeah, if you think I'm a bit of a drama queen, it's because I am one. <laughs> Hi, Anne! Just call it a black panther. You know what? Yeah, then maybe I should do that. Okay, let's have a look at the um, poll. Let's look at the poll. Let's see where we're at. So we've got uh, what, zero to one, thirty-four percent. Two to three years, fifty-six percent. Four to five years, three percent. And five plus 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 years, six percent. So six percent. Uh, the longest well done congratulations for putting up with me for so long hi maureen <laughs> yes russa thespian i know to be or not to be or in my case now at this age to pee or not to be anyway right that's mid tigers done so i wanted to add in some foliage foliage can you tell i've just had a coffee although it was supposed to be decaf so i don't know why i'm a bit jolly oh, i see you guys i see you guys oh thanks indy room reminder thumbs up right so what i wanted what i planned for this is to have <laughs> okay so what i'd like to do is have some box of repetitive um images here because when you want an image to kind of have a bit of a focal point of its own and perhaps it's a bit of a dull what image or it's just not very interesting or it's small then to bring focus to it then the simplest way to do it is to cluster them or to stamp them in a line or yeah repeat them basically so in keeping with already the kind of straight lines that we've got going on here I am going to repeat stamp some of this fabulous foliage like so. And what's great about designing your own paper like this 
is that you can just have fun with all the patterns. Don't overthink it. And when you cut your piece of paper up, you you will have enough different, you know, of the different bits and pieces on your paper. And it will work out. It will be fine. So very simple way of just adding a bit of drama as well to your um, stamping. Did we win a prize? <laughs> oh, so who? Okay, so um, who put the five to six years then? Uh, what emoji? Put a put like a shocked face emoji if you're the five to six or five plus. Oh, sorry if I had glitches. Sorry, I don't know why. What are you wowing at, Phoebe? Yeah, Vicky, you're over five years. <laughs> yeah, so some of you guys have been watching me since before I did lots on YouTube. When I was on Periscope. Right, I think that's enough because I want to leave space for more. Ha oh, ha, more. Bessie is five plus. Hi, Betty. Nice to see you. Yeah, I know. I... All right, Cindy, have a good walk. Oh, I forgot I got this stamp set out because I wanted to use some of this as well. So I am enjoying this dark green. So I'm not sure. Do I carry on the dark green? Oh, I did have mint macaron over to the side here. And I'm thinking because I've run, kind of run out of space, I might be encroaching on some other designs. I will go with a mint macaron. So be aware of that. If you've already done quite a bit of, you know, strong imagery, but yet you want to add something else and you think that it will you know if i put another if you put another dark color next to a dark color it's going to clash just don't do it just pick a lighter color oh i'm buffering again oh no no do the dark green says juanita well i'm gonna do this first and then i'll see how it looks and and see if i've got space i need the space And mint macaron is probably darker than you think it is. Well, it's certainly darker than I thought it was. Oh, so Maureen, you're a Perry get Perry Billy. Oh. Yes, good idea, Louise. Yeah, for sure. Go with the flamingos on this one. And maybe mix up the colours. Maybe use pinks instead of the yellows. Look forward to seeing that girl. Yeah, so that was wrong. Pronounced Nieto. Diane Nieto. I think my mint macaron might be a bit too juicy. Um, now, the other thing I've got is 
got the dragonfly. And I've got that leaf there. But I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to add something else. I want to add something brighter into this. And I'm considering actually either a bit of pink or something just to lift it. Because to me it's gone a bit dull. And maybe use some of these squares to make it more interesting. Or, oh, 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 forgot about this foliage. My favourite foliage in the world right now. Or red, Poppy Parade. Oh, see, Phoebe said Poppy and I didn't even see her say, say it. See, uh, uh, Nieto means grandson. In Spanish. Ah, there we go. So I'm stamping, moving up, stamping again, and moving up and stamping again. Oh, rich razzleberry. Oh, I think I got a bit of a mark up there, so I'm going to hide that with some stamping. There we go. I wonder if I should have stamped this actually going downwards. Oh, hi, Susan. Right, so I'm looking now for more spaces. There. I think it needs something floaty in here now, like maybe the dragonfly. Yes, they can go up or down, can't they? Got a goober. <laughs> you can see the space centre and the launches. Oh, wow, Heidi Shaw. Oh, we've got, where's Heidi Scholler? She's usually on here. So we've got Heidi Solinsky, Heidi Shaw. Leopard spotted. Oh, sorry. I've already done the tiger one. Unless I make a liger <laughs> or a tepid. Uh, 
No, I should have done the leopard one. Oh, I could use the leopard spotted as flowers. That's the other option. I sometimes do that. It's quite cute with them facing that way. I feel like you've got to give them something to look at. There we go. Otherwise, you're like, why are they looking that way? <laughs> yeah, someone needs to wake up Heidi Scholler and get her in here because to, to have three Heidis in one Zoom is pretty rare. You you are, Louise, you are. But that goes without saying. Right now, oh, what colour? I wonder if I could do these as almost like they're flowers off this vine. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Shaz. You're very welcome. Heidi number three is getting so much needed sleep. I think so. She's been up very late. Oh, maybe now it's time to bring on the cinnamon cider. Uh, have Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh my goodness, Lorraine, I didn't see that at all. Yes, we've got Heidi Silinski, Heidi Short and Heidi Scholler. That's crazy. I think we'll have to rename this video as the, you know, if Heidi does come on, the other Heidi. <laughs> Oh yes, there's a new apron to be shown. Oh, by the way, if people are interested in joining me for a class about using re-inkers, we do two different techniques. Uh, I have spaces for Friday. So it'll be 7 p.m. my time. So if you take whatever time it is now and minus <laughs> four hours, sorry, I had to do my maths then, minus four hours from now, that's about the time and that's if you're watching live that is and you will need reinkers and a trimmer you need a silicon mat or another waterproof mat and spritzer gloves if you don't like getting messy louise and an apron and maybe, I don't know, a decorator sheet or something just to cover your whole desk. <laughs> I'm being cheeky. And what else do you need? Some white or vanilla cardstock. I think that's all of them, isn't it? Thank you, Mary Beth. Oh, your name's Lorraine. So, the, oh my goodness, there's a few Lorraines. <laughs> yeah, a few of you are already booked into it, onto it, into it, onto it. <laughs> a few of you are take, already taking your life into your own hands by joining my class. <laughs> yeah, PPE. <laughs> Uh, so funny now you see I want to introduce that red somewhere else now so I'm going to go in with the red again <laughs> mm. 
Well, that's better. It just makes it look a bit more fuller. The silicon mat, yeah. Or, or just anything that's waterproof. So Stampin' Up! do these silicon mats. I, and that's what I use. Um, you also need baby wipes. So if you need to grab some baby wipes from the supermarket, then do that. Or wherever you get them from. Oh, good, Mary. Glad to. Good to make you laugh. Okay, that's nice. It just feels a little bit more lush and fuller. I think I'm struggling with the tigers just sort of floating. So I'm thinking I could do with maybe giving them something to sit on. Oh, I have leaves. I have these ones. Ooh, yes, that's perfect. You'll be fine, Louise. You coped with class two. You'll be fine. Yeah, we'll all be holding your hand, uh, Louise. You'll be fine. You also need some kind of like post-it notes or masking things. So these classes are purely online and you get to talk to me personally and talk to the other class attendees from all around the world. Uh, you do not get product with it, but you get to spend two hours with me and I teach you face-to-face -face techniques and then you show me what you've done and then I can help you make adjustments if needs be. We're, we're definitely going to, there'll be a finished card. Um, and actually, to finish the card off, you may want some dimensionals as well. Um, uh, that's better. I think I, I'm much happier now because it looks like the... They're actually sitting on something. Well. So don't be afraid to stamp on top of images. Um, every weekday, Shaz, at the moment. Every weekday night. Needs dotage, doesn't it? It needs dotage. Or, ooh. or it needs some kind of texture. I'm wondering if. I'm wondering if this would look good. Only one way to know. I think I'm going to go in there with a crushed curry because I haven't actually stamped with a crushed curry yet. Janice. 
Oh, I like that. It's really subtle. I don't know if you guys are picking that, picking, oh, you'll pick it up here. It just adds a really lovely ornamental feel, which I think it was lacking. It was, it was getting a bit too foliagey. It needed ornament. Oh, yes. Yeah, much happier with that now. What about some trees in the jungle? What does that mean, Karen? Yeah, actually, I need to pray see that about every weekday night. Um, I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to drop Tuesdays because as my classes start back up again, um, I may choose to do some classes on a Tuesday. And I'm thinking also, I do need to have a little break because I tend to do classes Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays. And also um, I may have team events as well. Oh, branches. Oh, some tree branches in the jungle. Yeah, maybe. It's tricky because I've gone for a design that's not supposed to, it's not meant to look naturalistic. It's just a design. So, um, I, I'm going with more that sort of feel that it's a design rather than necessarily, you know, it's, it's surface pattern design, if you know what I mean. No, it's not. It's I, I have no set time, Heidi. So for those of you who are new and you want to have a notification of when I go live, um, I would suggest that you sign up to my WhatsApp group, my notification group. So if you don't have WhatsApp, it's an app you can download for your phone. And I think it's free for the first year. And then I think it's a dollar a year. It's super cheap. And um, you will then get a message from me to tell you to save my phone number on your phone and then I'll put you in a broadcast list and so that basically means your number so um, and I only use it for communicating to do with this right I think I'm done although I'm looking at his fur there thinking I wonder if I could put a touch of red I know tigers aren't red but it just feels like he might benefit from a little facial artistic expression. Oops. He's got a beard now as well. There we go. Hi, Cindy. So if, you, if you're wanting to know any more about the whole WhatsApp thing, just email me and then we can chat. We can have a conversation about it. The other option, which other people go for, is you follow my, if you follow my Artful Stampin' Facebook page, if you like my page, and I think you can tell Facebook to get notifications. Or if you're also a member on Artful Stampin' Space, I also post the link on there. So again, if you set your phone to get notifications from my from the Facebook page uh, group, um, you should get a notification. Um, but the first thing you can do is just subscribe. So that's the bare mi bare minimum. <laughs> yeah. Drop me a line and I'll see how I can help you. Yes, definitely welcome, Karen. And do come on another day because there is another Dane who comes on quite regularly. No, there isn't. Wrong country. She's in Denmark. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just ignore me. Or is Dane... Am I confusing myself? 
We do call Denmark people from Denmark Danes, don't we? I've just completely confused myself then. Can you can you see that I'm going red with embarrassment? <laughs> the tiger looks like it's just had a kill. Oh dear. Yeah, no, I didn't mean to do it that way. I just wanted to give it a bit more colour because it looked a bit boring. But anyway. Give him a bit of rouge. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Um, okay, remember to clean your blender pens off. Now, I've had people ask me, what is that pen you're using? This is a blender pen, and it comes in packs of three from Stampin' Up, and it contains, I think it's xylitol. Does it contain xylitol? No, it doesn't. It's acid-free and xylene-free. That's, I misread it. Acid-free and xylene-free, but it has got some kind of fluid in there. And so it just makes it easier to pick up colour um, from the ink pads to colour in. So. He looks cool now, doesn't he? Right, I think I'm going to stop there, guys. I'm, I don't think I'd better start making anything out of this. I'm, I'm quite happy with it as it is. Although I think some people would have liked me to do some dotage. So, for those people, here it is. So, the stamp set that I'm using for the dotage is something called Daffodil Daydream. And it's brand new in the catalogue, in the mini catalogue, that is. And it's got features two gorgeous daffodils. And then this lovely or ornamental kind of, it almost looks like iron wire work, like iron work you get on a gate or something and then you've got dotage and then that cute butterfly so please don't feel restricted like you know if you've got a stamp set that's got flowers it doesn't mean you can't use the other elements out of it so let's start with the dotage so i've got the dark the dark green here the evening evergreen so i'm just gonna pop a few here and there Glenna, you like all the dotage. <laughs> she likes it all, everybody. Glenna is the dotage queen. She gets dot gasms. Martina gets stamp gasms, and, and um, Glenna gets dot gasms. She gets very excited when the dots come out. Oh, it does finish it. You're right, Glenna. <laughs> Louise, <laughs> you're funny. Elon, I know, and considering Glenna's not feeling very well, I'm very impressed. I have all my favourite dotage on separate blocks I use all the time. No way. Glenna, that is dedication. Hi, John. Nice to see you. Oh, I'm going to turn it the other way, guys, because I want to focus in on the where they're sitting. Get a few more in there. I'm actually exhausted. Oh, sorry, exhausted because of the, you're not feeling well. Or because of the dots. <laughs> oh, 
hi Jan, who is a man. Hi a man. Oh, Jane saying hi a man. I think she went to say Jan. <laughs> oh, hi, hi, hi Jan, who is a man. <laughs> I love predictive text. We get some unusual results with the predictive text. Right, that's it everybody. I think I've done. I'm done. Yes, la label mail. His name is Martina. Sorry for those of you who don't know. No, Louise, you, you have an unfortunate time with predictive text. Oh, sorry to hear that, Reed. Thank you, Jan. It's not meant to be pretty. <laughs> okay, let's do Masculine Monday. Oh, mm, is it? Is it though? Did you go a bit too far, Ruth? <laughs> With the dragonflies and the pretties. Okay, colours. So, on the background, with the watercolour shapes, I used... Pale Papaya, So Saffron and Daffodil Delight create a checkered kind of light background. Then I used with Wild Cats, Early Espresso to do the cats and to do the tiger stripes. Sorry those of you who wanted cheetah stripes. Then for the foliage, this one. I used Evening Evergreen and then used Celebrate with Flowers. I used Mint Macaron. Needs a bit of a clean. Excuse me. And so Mint Macaron for the lighter foliage and the leaves there. Those leaves were done in mint macaron. And then the red poppy parade. I used that lovely leaf there. And then the cheetah dots I used as flowers. Oh, I forgot there was even smaller cheetah dots there. <gasps> oh, I forgot about those. You know what, I'm just going to move this all onto here because it's just easier. Cut it up. <laughs> ah. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut it up right now. I might just do the templates over the top for you to see what it looks like for now. And then, and then what else? Oh, the daffodil daydream that was it that's the final piece so crushed curry for daffodil daydream that iron work and then i used evening evergreen again then for using to do, doing the dots so colors that's quite a few colors guys but i think it's worth it let's do that and that and that, and that. did i use cinnamon cider in the end no, I didn't. Okay, take that one out. Okay, so that's the colour scheme. There we go. Ah, the three Heidi's are here. I wonder if all the three Heidi's could just type, Hi, Heidi. Okay, so no one else type anything. And could all the Heidi's type, Hi, Heidi. And we're going to have to get a screenshot of that because that's just amazing. Um, Right. What else? Oh, I'll get the tempers while you type. Hi, Heidi.
Hold on. I want all the Heidi's to do it. Just the Heidi's. Just the Heidi's. So thanks, Heidi Scholler. Right. Can Heidi Selinsky and... Um, yay. So Heidi Shaw, can you type hi, Heidi? And Heidi West, hi, Heidi. And Heidi... There's another... There's Selinsky. There's four Heidi's now. Where's Heidi West? Quick, Heidi West. That is hilarious. Quick, Heidi West. Type hi, Heidi. <laughs> Just humour me. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Right. Um... Yeah, that, it wasn't designed for this layout. It was designed for this layout. So, there we go. That's the layout I kind of had in mind to do so that you get, you get two cats on each one. <laughs> Shaz, you're hilarious. <gasps> I know. Five? What? No, hold on. Heidi Shaw, Heidi Scholler, Heidi Selinsky, and Heidi West. That's four. <gasps> Lisa. There isn't another one, is there? I don't think I could take it. Yeah. <laughs> right, there we go. That's how I'd cut that up, Louise. For a bit of fun. Take care, Debbie. There's five Heidi. Oh, right. OK. Right. So nobody else posts. Can all the Heidi's just type hello, Heidi? And then um, I'll, at some point I'll take a screenshot and record this momentous occasion. We'll call this episode the Heidi episode. <laughs> See you, Debbie. Yeah, you need a reunion. Yes, Heidi West. Shola, Selinsky, West and Shaw. Yeah, there we go. That's brilliant. Brown paper and um, stamping something fun. It was meant to be kind of quite vibrant and happy. So, um, yeah. So, hope you've enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you don't already. Press that, press that subscribe button. Uh, if you like what you've seen, do hit that thumb, thumbs up. And then, um, yeah, come again. Come again. And if you want to join the ongoing Zoom that got started with Christmas and New Year thing, it has now carried on and now there's a new Zoom started. And I'm just taking a couple of weeks out just to think about where to go with it afterwards so that you guys can hang out if you want to socially so bear with me as i think that one through so lots of love take care bye